Hi there folks, um, I've been asked by a few people, well not a few, a couple, <laughs> how I freeze my cabbage. Cabbage can be very difficult to freeze if you don't do it the right way, but it can also be very simple if you do do it the right way. Um, when I first used to freeze it, obviously you need to blanch it. If you can freeze it without blanching, but you're going to have to eat it within a couple of months. As the enzymes will kick in and start breaking it down. So, I will show you my way. This is a head that I harvested a couple of days ago. Uh, I've taken off all the outer leaves. And I want to keep the core. Basically what I'm going to do is cut this into quarters and then give it a good soak. So once I've done that, I will show you the next step to freezing my cabbage. Catch you in a second folks. Right folks, I've cut the uh, cabbage into quarters. As you can see I've kept the core there because that is going to hold all the leaves in place. And I've also added a bit of salt to the water because anything that could be hiding hates salt and it's going to come out. So these can now soak for about 20 minutes. I don't think there is any bugs in here because it's nice clean cabbage. But I say keep the core on to hold your leaves in place, that is important. So we'll let them soak and we shall come back. Alright, so there we go. We've got to uh, half of the cabbage in the saucepan, blanching away. I blanch for two minutes for cabbage, beans etc, I do for three minutes. If you notice I've put the middles to the bottom so the uh, water gets right in there. So they will get two minutes blanching then they will be taken out to cool off. And it is simple as that folks. Uh, Cool them off properly before you put them in the freezer, but I'll show that on the next clip. And that is how easy it is to freeze cabbage and blanch it. So you can freeze without blanching, but it's not going to last as long as if you do blanch. So I'll set the time for two minutes. And we'll put the second half of the cabbage in after these are done. You can use the same water two or three times, just keep topping it up. So I'll catch you in a second, folks. So there's the first half cooling off, and as you can see the core's kept the shape of the cabbage. And once these are com completely cool, they will go in this Ziploc bag. I'll get all four quarters in a large bag like this, not a problem. The beauty of doing it this way is, you're not going to end up with block frozen cabbage if you, if you try to do separate leaves, it's a nightmare. And you can just take out of the bag how much you need for each meal. Obviously there's only two of us in our house, so uh, one quarter will do as each session and uh, along with other veg of course, you have to have a variety of vegetables on your plate or even two, I might even cook two quarters if I'm going to make bubble and squeak the day after so yeah, honestly, so easy So I'm drying these bottom down as well, so the water drops down. But you see, keeping the core on really does hold the shape of the cabbage. And it makes it so easy to take a portion out. So there you go. Mick blanking, blanching his cabbage. So thanks for watching folks. Hope it's helped. So I know some people do struggle a bit blanching. Uh, not blanching, freezing cabbage, sorry. <laughs> what we're talking about. So... Uh, that's the second lot in, and that's one cabbage done. Rest of the cabbage to go. Catch us later. Bye.